Welcome to Travels Unfiltered. My name is Clarissa, and today I'll be highlighting our top 14 free things to do in Singapore. For more travel tips, make sure to subscribe to our channel. From exploring lush gardens to immersing in cultural heritage, these wallet-friendly experiences will leave you captivated by the Lion City's charm. Let's dive into the best of Singapore on a budget. Starting us off at number 14 on our list, we recommend enjoying an outdoor movie at the beach on Sentosa Island. Just off Singapore's coast, Sentosa is a popular spot spot for tourists and is also home to Universal Studios theme park. If you're wanting an unforgettable experience watching a movie under the stars, then this is the place to enjoy an outdoor movie on the beach. Although movie nights don't happen every day, you can easily find the announced dates on the Sentosa website which is linked in the description box of this video. To ensure that things are kept child friendly, all movies selected are all ages rated. Some of the past screenings have included films such as Pitch Perfect, Cars, and Gone in 60 Seconds. To reach the venue, you can take the Sentosa Express to Beach Station catch the bus or park your car near beach station. Coming in at number 13, we recommend a visit to the Buddha Tooth Relic Temple. Located in the iconic Chinatown, the Buddha Tooth Relic Temple is a stunning destination that showcases the rich history and timeless teachings of Buddhism. Home to a vast collection of historical artifacts and comprehensive exhibits, come here and learn about a religion that has spanned centuries. Boasting beautiful statues and architecture throughout, this temple is a reprieve from the bustle of the city outside. Open every day from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. The temple also offers free guided tours on Saturdays. Getting to the temple is also convenient as it's located close to Chinatown MRT station. Within the temple complex, visitors can come here to immerse themselves in the spiritual and cultural richness of Buddhism in the heart of Chinatown. In at number 12, we suggest taking a trip to Gilman Barracks. Gilman Barracks in Singapore is a vibrant contemporary art cluster housed within the premises of a former army barracks. The barracks were constructed in 1936 and today offer a plethora of galleries and spaces to explore, becoming a haven for art lovers. Undergoing restoration in 2012, Gilman Barracks has contributed heavily to the contemporary art scene in Singapore, with multiple galleries being held here. Visitors can find themselves engaging with artworks from both renowned local and international artists. Open to guests every day from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m., guests have plenty of time to take in the art and indulge in the various eateries and bars inside. Next on our list at number 11, we recommend Salita Rocket Tower. Found in the tranquil upper Salita Reservoir, the Salita Rocket Tower offers a picturesque view of the surrounding landscape. Officially opened over 50 years ago, this iconic tower stands at an impressive height of 18 meters, equivalent to approximately six stories. From the tower, visitors can be treated to a stunning 360 degree panoramic view of the encompassing reservoir and park. Coming here will make for a lovely, quiet day, allowing guests to take in the serene scenery. If you're looking for a relaxing day in nature, try heading to the Salita Rocket Tower where you can appreciate the surrounding beauty of the landscape from above. Next on our list at number 10, we recommend visiting Kampong Jilam. Kampong Jilam has transformed into a mecca for arts and entertainment. As one of Singapore's oldest urban quarters, there's plenty for visitors to experience here. Come here to indulge in local delicacies with the large variety of eateries around or shop around in one of the many stalls and shops. A melting pot of vibrant cultures from around the world, Kampong Jilam is a must visit for those wanting to experience the essence of Singapore cultural diversity. Coming in at number 9 on our list of recommendations, we have a trip to Sentosa Island beaches. If you're looking for a day of relaxation and unwinding by the water, then a visit to one of Sentosa's beaches is in order. With three beautiful beaches to choose from, Palawan Beach, Siloso Beach, and Tanjong Beach, you'll have plenty of options. Additionally, the beaches offer a fantastic variety of water sports activities for everyone to partake in. Essential facilities such as bathrooms, showers, lockers, and even Wi-Fi can be found along the beaches. For those that want to beach hop from one beach to another, there's a free tram for visitors that will take you between the beaches. In at number 8, we recommend catching the Spectra Water Show. A captivating nightly event that takes place over the waters at the event plaza, the Spectra Water Show is a must-watch for those traveling to Singapore. Lasting for approximately 15 minutes, the dazzling water show presents a symphony of dancing fountain jets, vibrant protections, and mesmerizing lasers that come together to narrate a four-part story of Singapore and its evolution into the vibrant cultural metropolis it is today. The show offers multiple show times each day, running from 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. on Sundays to Thursdays, and 8 p.m., 9 p.m., and 10 p.m. on Fridays and Saturdays. Located outside Marina Bay Sands, the Spectra Water Show will be sure to enthrall those that witness it with a visually stunning spectacle that tells the story of Singapore. Moving on to number seven on our list, we suggest checking out the Sultan Mosque. Located in the historical Kampong Jilam district, the mosque was fully completed in 1932 after various renovations. With its massive golden domes, the Sultan Mosque stands as one of Singapore's most impressive religious buildings. Its surrounding history is rich and dates 
back all the way to 1824 when it was initially made for the first Sultan of Singapore, Sultan Hussein Shah. Spanning over 4,109 square meters and enclosed by a boundary wall, the Sultan Mosque features a prayer hall defined by 12 octagonal columns and a two-story high central atrium. One of the mosque's most striking features is its dual gold onion domes, one on the east and one on the west facade. Visiting the Sultan Mosque is a great way to understand and immerse in Singapore's rich Muslim heritage and marvel at its stunning architecture. Coming in at number 6, we recommend Hao Par Villa. Formerly known as the Tiger Bomb Garden, Hao Par Villa is an expansive Asian cultural park in Singapore that covers 8.5 hectares of land. Constructed in 1937, this cultural park offers a fascinating exploration of Chinese culture and mythology. Inside, guests can find themselves coming across a collection of religious sculptures, dioramas, and intriguing depictions that can be described as odd and hilariously memorable. Hao Par Villa offers tours and educational programs for those wanting to learn more about the history and lore of Chinese mythology. For those wanting to engage in Chinese mythology in an unusual but fun way, consider adding Hal Par Villa to your itinerary. Moving along to number five on our list, we suggest heading up the Southern Ridges. The Southern Ridges in Singapore offers a magnificent 10 kilometer stretch of open, luscious greenery where nature enthusiasts can connect with the environment and briefly escape from the hustle and bustle of the city. The trail also offers various options suitable for all sorts of fitness levels. One of the highlights of the Southern Ridges is the iconic Henderson Waves Bridge. This 200 74 meter long pedestrian bridge was designed to mimic the curves of an ocean wave with undulating wooden pieces. Ultimately, for those wanting a combination of nature, architecture, and views of the city, then be sure to check out the Southern Ridges. Next on our list at number four, we have Dragonfly Lake. If you're looking for a serene setting for a riverside walk where you can appreciate some vibrant aquatic life, then look no further than Dragonfly Lake in Marina Bay. As the name suggests, visitors might be able to catch sight of dragonflies as they're part of the ecosystem here. With a boardwalk spanning 440 meters, enjoy a leisurely stroll while taking in the picturesque surroundings. Found on the western side of Singapore, Dragonfly Lake also provides wonderful photographic opportunities with great views of the surrounding area. Coming in at number three on our list, we recommend visiting Super Tree Grove. Also near Dragonfly Lake and a part of Gardens by the Bay, we have this iconic Singaporean location. The Super Tree Grove is home to 12 super trees that scale an impressive height of up to 50 meters. At night, the Garden Rhapsody shows treating visitors to enthralling music and light experience amidst the enchanting super trees. Therefore, a visit to Super Tree Grove is highly recommended if you're traveling to Singapore. Coming in second on our list, we recommend visiting Marina Bay. Marina Bay offers tourists and locals a vibrant city experience, with a scenic waterfront promenade adorned with detailed sculptures. With the shops and plenty of renowned restaurants at Marina Bay, there will be plenty of things to take up your time here. Moreover, Marina Bay is also well known for the iconic Marina Bay Sands Hotel, which was prominently featured in the 2018 film Crazy Rich Asians. Marina Bay is a truly dazzling destination that showcases some of Singapore Singapore's best with a fantastic skyline, waterfront, and blend of luxury architecture. Lastly, at the top of our list of free things to do in Singapore, we think you should check out Singapore Botanic Gardens. Singapore Botanic Gardens is a 158-year-old haven of tropical granary that allows visitors a delightful reprieve in the heart of the city. Open from 5 a.m. until midnight, this treasured oasis showcases the wonderful biodiversity of the region. Sprawling across 60 acres of well-preserved landscape, the botanical gardens feature a variety of historical features, plantings, and buildings. Moreover, the garden also houses a small tropical rainforest that is older than the rest of the garden itself, making Singapore only one of two major cities in the world to have a tropical rainforest within city limits. Altogether, a visit to Singapore Botanic Gardens not only showcases Singapore's natural beauty, but emphasizes the nation's sustained efforts to preserve and educate the public on the wonders of nature. And that wraps up our list of the top 14 free things to do in Singapore. To find out more about these activities, head to the links in the description box of this video. If you're traveling to Singapore and need more travel advice like where to stay or where to eat, then make sure you check out our Singapore playlist. The link is also in the description box of this video. As always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more travel tips and videos, and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. See you next time!